Hey there, it's Dr. Tom. Welcome in to another Workout Wednesday. I'm gonna be focusing on some upper body stuff today. So come along for the ride and uh, let's have some fun. Have I mentioned before that I really hate those? Because I still do. God, they suck. The setup I use when doing the seated dumbbell overhead extension might be a little different than anything you've seen or tried before. And simply, it's just something I stumbled across that felt better for me. Doing it on the bench didn't feel great. The bench seemed to get in the way as I was lowering the weight down. Sitting on the floor against other things just seemed to shift and move and were never quite right. So I set this up with the bar about shoulder blade level. And then I used again the big, thick, uh, bar pad that you use for like the barbell bridging and whatnot. Set it right there and then I actually sit with my legs out straight in front of me and then for me it's just a more comfortable way to do the movement. So if uh, you've never tried it before, it can be a nice alternative to some of the other ways maybe you tried before. If that one looked kind of weird, it's kind of a take from, if you ever used to read any old bodybuilding magazines like Muscle and Fitness, this was, uh, the first time I came across this was the 21 gun salute, where with bicep curls, you do seven reps for the bottom half, seven reps of the top half of the motion, and then seven full reps. So that was what the overhead press was. Seven reps, so basically from the bottom to about the top of my head, seven reps from the top of the head up, and then seven full reps from there. If you're doing any kind of carry work, whether it's the farmer's carry, single arm carries, or holding, or even having just hold dumbbells a long time for any kind of other exercise, getting yourself some kind of wraps or grip things makes a world of difference. On this one here, the lug and stuff around for 60 seconds, your grip's gonna give out before anything else. When I use these things, then I can tax, you know, more my cardiovascular system, the lower body, my core, because my grip is pretty much taken out of it. So. Something like this, I scored these on Amazon. They're phenomenal for stuff like this. Not great for super heavy lifts, but when you have to lug dumbbells or kettlebells for a while, these things are fantastic. 
One more quick thing. Whenever you're doing any kind of a carry, again, two hands, one hand, doesn't matter. Slow down your pace. So one of the mistakes I see people make a lot is they're taking too big of a stride and they're walking too fast. Shorten your stride and slow your pace a little bit. You have more control of what you're doing and it actually taxes the body a little bit more than when you're trying to rush through it. You have better control over it. And I think you'll find you'll get more out of the movement by shortening your stride and slowing down your pace a little bit. Well, another workout Wednesday in the books. My upper body is crushed right now. Feels good, tired. That was a good one. Uh, drop me a comment, let me know what you saw. Anything I messed up on this week? Uh, did you hear any of your favorite metal songs this week? Hopefully you're getting an adequate heavy metal education by watching these videos. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.